Ladies and gentlemen, our co-main event of the evening will be contested in the lightweight division over three five-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 70.3 kilos and trains out of Ignite Martial Arts as part of the Dunstan Death Squad, holding a professional record of six wins for three defeats. He is the former eternal lightweight champion, David the Smiling Assassin Martinez. And his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 70.4 kilos and trains out of NTG Fight and Fitness, holding a professional record of five wins for three defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dims Gillies. Now, Kia Melody, our man in the middle for this eternal lightweight bout. It's Dave Martinez and Dimps Gillies. Round number one, Tanira Nathan cage side once again with Kyle Noak. Now this, this fight could be fight of the night. It's, it's gonna be a great event. Oh, it's got fight of the night written all over <laughs> it, Kyle. Can't wait to see what happens as uh, both these guys wasting no time in getting in each other's faces here. Nice level changes there by Martinez. He doesn't want to get into a stand-up brawl with Dimps. You know Dimps has got Nugget McNaughton in his corners, which means he's got a very good Thai boxing background. Uh, Dave Martinez just started good with a Thai boxing coach. Got John Martin Fraser's Thai boxing coach and Ryan Doyle. So you see the improvements in, ooh. Well, let's wait and see what happens. As you said, he doesn't want to get into a stand and bang slugfest here with Dimps Gillies. That seems to be his forte inside the cage nonetheless can dave martinez close that distance and you can see just a bit of redness and swelling over the left eye courtesy of dimps gillies oh nice right hand there uh, uh, left sorry by, by dimps you can but, see everything that dimps throws is just with bad intentions Kyle. oh he puts his, all his force behind it doesn't he oh nice right hand there by dave martinez this is where dave needs to take over now push him against the cage and look for that takedown he stopped for the mouth guard dust it off him straight back into action. And he's just ripping and a tearing every single punch he throws. <laughs> Martinez can't stay in this range with Dimps. He needs to either close the distance or get out. I mean, I know Dave's tough, but does he really want to stay in this <laughs> range, Kyle? I don't think so. And there it is. There's the double that he's looking for. Not quite had the timing there. Gosh, and Dimps has opened him up already. But it seems to be the longer the fight goes, the better Dave gets. We've seen it so many times in his previous victories in his MMA career. Absolutely. Yeah. And I've seen him walk through some big shots. Even in training with John, he'll walk through John's shots to take him down. So you can never count that Dave out. Chin of steel on Dave Martinez. But I think both these guys have a good chin, actually. So... And aren't they the nicest guys in MMA? Both of you. I'll tell you right now, can, look at them shaking hands <laughs> mid-round. I could never say a bad word about Dave. <laughs> Dave pressing the action now. Dimps on the back foot. He lands a right hand on the inside though there. Eats Ooh. one of his own. Dave, that low head, but it seems to be working. Seems to duck his head down low and come up the top with overhands. Both these guys have a chin of granite. They've eaten some big shots here, and we're only three minutes removed from the start of round number one. Another nice right hand down the pipe there, Kyle. And yeah, a left hook work. followed by. Dave starting to really take out another right hand there. This is what Dave needs now to close that distance and clinch against the fence. Try and look at the dragon to the ground. But Dimps also has good takedown defense. And no slouch on the ground himself. Oh, not at all. I mean, you've seen it so many times. He's, he's improved his grappling. Out of sight, some would say, and just as I say that, the old commentator's curse, he gets taken down <laughs> straight into mound, it looks like, Dave Martinez. And that's what I'm talking about, Dave, just that stickiness. He's, you see there's no space between him and Dimps at all. Uh, Dimps at all. Looking for that rear naked already. I don't think he's quite got it across the uh, throat, though. Dimps needs to do something to get out of there. You don't want to be stuck in a position like that with Dave Martinez. Well, this looks tight here. Cole, no. He's going to cross the jaw, but still can get the submission. 
Here in our co-main event, we've seen so many submissions here tonight. Can we see another one here? No! Dibs Gillies says no! But he's not out of the woods yet, flattened out. And once again, Dave's able to secure that rear naked. Possibly in a tougher position than he was. I think he's got a deep this time. No. Dimps, Dimps has got his back to the ground. It's going to make it hard for Dave to choke him. And Dimps won't concede. Great defense by oh, Mr. That looks Gillies. A lot deeper. Could this be the moment? Although it doesn't look like he's choking, that's a lot of pressure on the jaw, and you can actually break someone's jaw that way. Oh, so. Absolutely. But look at the toughness from Dimps. He's not giving in. No, I wouldn't expect Dimps to tap from something like that. And throwing his own strikes. And he's throwing shots from the back. <laughs> Goodness me. There is no quit in this man. Dave with awesome control. He's controlling his lower half of his body while attacking the upper half. Well, they're going tit for tat at the moment. And Dimps Gillies giving everything he's got to fight off the rear naked choke attempts of Dave Martinez. And once again, Dave be able to get around that jaw. Just cannot get under the chin, though. Dimps doing an awesome job of defending there, keeping his chin nice and low. Great defense by Dimps Gillies. Great offense. Ah, Coming up here at Eternal 61 in our co-main event, and we are underway. Touch of gloves, a bit of respect from both guys. Dave with that bobbing head weave and trying to come over the top again. Let's be careful he doesn't need a knee in that position. Well, yes, indeed. You saw so you've seen so often in Dimps' previous fights, he can end it with one shot. None more so his impressive knockout of the night performance against Blake Donnelly back last year. Can he do the same here tonight against the smiling assassin? He moves out of the way ever so smoothly. Dave's showing great pressure here, bringing him forward. He's eating some shots, but he's, he's keeping the pressure heavy on him. And that stiff jab, Kyle, just down the middle, just oh, catching Dimps by surprise, I think. Big nice. rip to the body. <laughs> Dave Martinez again, just pouring it on, just keep coming forward. Nice angle cut by Dimps there. Mm. That's heavy. <laughs> yes. And again, just everything. But the kitchen sink going into those shots from Dimps. Now he's starting to target that lead leg now, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. He's trying to, oh, nice body shot there by Dimps. I've seen Dimps dig for the body a few times there. Maybe he thinks that he can drop him with a body shot. Maybe they've seen something in James, uh, David Martinez's game. Well, we know Dave's got a chin of steel. Sometimes absolutely. if you're not having success going to the head, go to the body. You take away the man's breathing and it'll be easier to knock out. Oh, absolutely. And a much more active round from Dimps here on the feet. I think Dimps does not want to go to the ground again with David after feeling how controlling he is on the ground. Just under three minutes left here in round number two. Ooh, nice right hand there by Dave. Dave finds some success there with that right hand in the fight. Well, I think you'd have to say since uh, we've seen Dave in the cage, his striking has improved out of sight, would you say, Kyle? Absolutely. I think that's a credit to Ryan Doyle working with him now, uh, working on his Thai boxing uh, up the Sunshine Coast. So, yeah, hats off to Ryan Doyle, I think. Oh, and Dave obviously putting in the work. Dim's doing a good job of negating that pressure of Martinez by cutting the angles and getting out of the road. Not letting his back get pushed against the cage this round. Beautiful head movement there from Dick Skillings. Put that down his extensive boxing background. As Dave Martinez continues to pressure, to pressure rather, from center cage. Great footwork by Dim. So you see him switching stance, cutting angles. I'm really impressed with his footwork. Both guys just pouring with their jabs, looking for that big shot. And you'd have to think, Cole, it may be in Dave's best interest to try and get this fight to the ground with just over 90 seconds left. Absolutely, man. I think you're going to see that takedown come from David soon. You know, he knows that he can control him on the ground. And it's a good way to finish each round with a takedown 
it, it looks just looks good in the judge's eyes. A bit more control. Another big body shot landed Ooh. there by Dimps. Dimps on heavy leather. That overhand right just grazes the nose of Dave Martinez. Let's not forget about that awesome haircut of Dimps as well. Oh. Haircut of the century <laughs> here at Eternal MMA 61. The mullet lives on, Kai. <laughs> Just under a minute to go now. I'd like to see Dave shoot for a takedown. Wow. Ooh, as he eats a heavy kick. Just blocked it, I think. That head kick almost disguised, just creeping over the shoulder of Dave Martinez, Kai. Absolutely. It's something that Dave has to be aware of now. Simpson set up those strikes again and look for that kick later on and hopefully catch Dave slipping. He'll he, he catch him square. And again to the body. Those add up. Those punches to the body are like money in the bank. They definitely add up. Absolutely. But I think you know, it's going to be hard to stop a guy like Dimps. <laughs> Dimps will go no matter what. We go on one lung, half a lung, anyway. Oh. Ten seconds left in round number two. And they'll see it out here. Martinez versus Gillies, third and final round. Both guys need to look for the finish in this round. You never know how these judges are going to score the fight. Well, you'd have to think with that takedown and submission attempt in round number one, Dave Martinez... As he shoots again. Looks to go towards that same game plan that brought him some success in round number one. Dimps Gillies very active in round number two. We could quite well be one apiece here in round three. Absolutely, you know, I, I think they are going into one apiece and they have to think that way as a fighter. You, know, you, ha you can't think you're too up on the card because, you know, like I said, you never know what the judges. As, as Dave Martinez shoots for a beautiful double and once again has got that back control. And this is where the smiling assassin wants to be. Like you said, the human backpack, the leech. <laughs> Looking to stick himself to Dimps, and he's got plenty of time to work, Kyle. Absolutely, four minutes to go. He's going to look to get some heavy ground and pound in and look to get that choke again, I think. It's going to be a tough for Dimps to get him off his back. Nice way that, that Dave is controlling that bottom arm and stopping and get, uh, Dimps from turning. He's able to hit heavy ground and pound in. It's going to be very hard for Dimps to get out of this one. Especially as he finds himself stuffed up against the cage. Dave Martinez making himself as heavy as possible. And here Dave's going to look to get that next hook in. It's almost as like you know what Dave's going to do. The question is, can you stop it? Absolutely, you know, he's very hard to stop. As he looks to get that rear naked again, once around the chin again. If he can just get under uh, Dempsey's chin, he'll get that ooh, secure the choke, but Dempsey's awesome defense each time. Well, can he take a note out of the book of Dala El Tagami and whip off a spinner Rooney? <laughs> can we see Dimps Gillies do something to get out of this tough position here? Doing a good job so far of defending by attacking guy. Absolutely, you know, even though he's on the ground, even though he's got Dave on his back, he's still landing more shots than Dave on the ground, and you never know how the judges are going to score that. But Dave, so much control, it's going to be hard to knock him in the round. Well, with just over two minutes left here in round number three. Dave Martinez, time to work. Dim Skillies, time to defend. As we've seen so often in his pro MMA career, Dave Martinez, a submission specialist. He's got that body triangle around uh, Dimps as well. It's going to be very hard for Dimps to do the spinner Rooney. Dave once again trying to get that jaw, trying to put pressure on his jaw, making tap. You gotta think Dimps is just so naturally strong. Even though Dave may be more technically sound, Dimps always seems to find a way out of these tough positions. Can he do so here? Absolutely, yeah, he needs to. I, I think Dave needs to trap an arm though. He needs to open up that body triangle and, and try and trap an arm and look for the finish. So I know Dave, he won't want to go out in a decision either. He'd rather look for the victory. So if he's able to push that arm down below his chest line and trap it with his leg, he'll have uh, two arms to fight his one, fight Dimps as one. 
Well, 90 seconds left here in our third and final round. Come and event Martinez versus Gillies has done nothing but deliver so far as Dave looking to progress his position here. Such a tight body triangle. You can see it really squashing his torso. Tim's not given up. Not at all. And, and he's, he's finding his mark there. <laughs> There's no quit in this guy. And he's having fun too. He's <laughs> laughing. And they're talking to each other now. <laughs> Just under a minute to go now. But like you said, Cole, depending on the way the judges score this fight, do you credit the defense of Dimskulis? Do you pay more attention to the offense, submission offense of Dave Martinez? Because you'd have to think they're even at this stage. Absolutely. You never know how they're going to score it. Although uh, Dave has got the back control, he he's, has a lot of control. Dimps is throwing a lot of strikes. I'd love to see how many strikes he's throwing actually from the ground. So I don't know which way the judges will score it, but I'm pretty sure they're going to leave towards Dave Martinez. Well, less than 20 seconds until we find out our official decision, unless these guys decide to finish <laughs> each other on the ground here. <laughs> 10 seconds left. I wouldn't put it past Dimps to finish the fight from here either. <laughs> well, not the David finally lets up that pressure. And they decide yeah. to get back to their feet and throw in hell for leather. So ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the bout 30 to 27, 30 to 27, and 29 to 28 for your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, David the Smiling Assassin Martinez.